Hello everyone! In this lesson, we will be looking at one of the language skills in Muet, that is reading. What is the best thing of a reading lesson? Over a text placed before you, you get to explore and immerse yourself in a different world. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to make inferences, identify meanings of words through contextual clues, interpret the ideas expressed, and determine the organizational pattern of the text. Ha! Huh, what do you see here? Yes, it is the durian, the king of fruit. Different people have different thoughts on the fruit. While many of us love durians, some find them repulsive. So, you either love it or hate it. Now, let's read paragraph 1. As we read, some words will be circled and the meanings will be shown to you. Surprisingly, Musang King durians are now on sale in the United Kingdom, UK. The infamous durian, regarded as the king of fruit in much of Southeast Asia, is best known for its pungent smell. Variously compared to seaweed, rotting flesh, or ripe cheese. The green spiky durian is an awkward travel companion. It is banned on Singapore's rail network as well as in many airports and hotels in Southeast Asia. Let's begin with question one. Surprisingly, Musang King durians are now on sale in the United Kingdom in line one suggest that a. Durians are becoming popular in the UK B. It is difficult to import durians into the UK And C. It is hard to believe that durians are available in the UK Which one do you think is the best answer? In paragraph 1, look at line 1 Which reads, surprisingly Musang King durians are now on sale in the United Kingdom. Question 1 will help you to make an inference. Also, in order to answer this question, please look at the word suggest. What does it imply? Suggest indicates to give you an idea. Let's look at the options given. Option A. Durians are becoming popular in the UK. Focus on are becoming popular. This indicates that things are becoming popular are things that are on demand, which means more and more people love the durian. So, the question now is, does surprisingly Musang King durians are now on sale in the United Kingdom, UK, actually suggests that. No, it doesn't. Option B says, it is difficult to import durians into the UK. But, if you look closely, there is no statement about durians being difficult to import. Therefore, we will not accept option B either. Option C. It is hard to believe that durians are available in the UK. This statement or option is true because, surprisingly, line 1 tells us that it is hard to believe that durians are available in the UK. Therefore, Option C is the correct answer. Shall we read paragraph 2 together? Let us begin. Let us start with the smell. 
Yes, the durian has a very strong smell. It is a fact. It is not sold at the same place as the other fruits in the covered markets of the Philippines because its smell is heavy and also hard to get rid of. They would rather place it on stalls close to the open air than put it in the heart of the market because it would contaminate the atmosphere of the whole building. Now, let's try question two. Contaminate in paragraph two can best be replaced by A. Infect B. Spoil and C. Taint Which do you think is the best answer? If you look at paragraph two, the word contaminate appears at the end of the paragraph, which reads, they will rather place it on stalls close to the open air than put it in the heart of the market because it would contaminate the atmosphere of the whole building. Let's try question two, where you will have to identify meanings of words through contextual clues. Contaminate in paragraph 2 can best be replaced by A. Infect B. Spoil and C. Taint Let's look at option A. Can contaminate in paragraph 2 best be replaced by infect? What's the meaning of the word infect? Infect refers to passing or causing sickness to someone. In paragraph 2, the phrase given is it would contaminate the atmosphere of the whole building. It refers to the very strong smell of the durian. Therefore, the idea given is that the very strong smell of the durian would contaminate the atmosphere of the whole building. In fact, cannot be used to replace contaminate in this context as the smell of the durian simply cannot cause sickness to the atmosphere of the whole building. Therefore, option A is incorrect. What about option B, spoil? In the passage, is the atmosphere of the whole building spoiled? No, it isn't. So, option B, spoil, is an incorrect answer. Option C is taint. Taint means contaminate or pollute. In this context, it means that the very strong smell of the durian would pollute the atmosphere of the whole building. That's correct. Option C, taint, would therefore best replace the word contaminate. Moving on to paragraph 3. While durians have long been available in Chinese supermarkets around the UK, this is the first time the prized Malaysian variety has been on sale in the UK supermarket. Musang King durians are left to ripen naturally on the tree. The growers spread large nets underneath and wait for them to fall. Right, let's continue with paragraph 3. They are collected and vacuum packed on the same day to preserve their ripeness. The fruits do not smell while still in their packaging promises a spokesperson for Malaysia Kitchen who promotes Malaysian food in the UK. Once you open the packaging, however, you are on your own. Do it in the garden or at least with all the windows flung open. Question 3. The Malaysia Kitchen spokesperson gives the assurance that A. The durians are not plucked from the trees. B. The smell of the durians is contained when sold. And C. 
The fruits will stay fresh as they are vacuum packed. What do you think is the assurance given? Think carefully before you pick the correct option. Let's look at paragraph 3 once again before we pick the correct answer. What do you think is the assurance given by the Malaysia Kitchen Spokesperson? Read through the paragraph once again. Can you find the word assurance in the passage? When you cannot find this word, look for a synonym or another word that has the same meaning as assure. What about the phrase spokesperson for Malaysia Kitchen? Is it in a paragraph? Look carefully. Yes, it is. What is the sentence given? The sentence is The fruits do not smell while still in their packaging Promises a spokesperson for Malaysia Kitchen Promises in this sentence means To give an assurance Now, do you know the answer? What did the spokesperson assure? Let's go back to the given options for question 3, you have to interpret an idea. You have read paragraph 3, look for a synonym and the interpretation of an idea. Now, can you pick the correct answer? The Malaysia Kitchen Spokesperson gives the assurance that Is it A, B or C? If you have picked option A, it is incorrect. Well, it is true that the durians are not plucked from the trees as they are left to ripen naturally and fall. That is not the assurance given by the Malaysia Kitchen spokesperson. It was just a given explanation in the passage. Now, you have to be very careful in looking for the given assurance and not any other details from the text. What about option B? The smell of the durians is contained when so. When the smell of the durian is contained, the fruits do not smell when they are still in their packaging and this is what the Malaysia Kitchen Spokesperson promises. This is his assurance. So, option B is the correct answer. Finally, let's have a look at the last option, which states that the assurance given is that the fruits will stay fresh as they are vacuum packed. Once again, this is not the assurance given by the Malaysia Kitchen Spokesperson and you are reminded to be focused in looking for the given promise and not any other details from the text. Hello there! How are all of you doing? Have you been reading? If yes, well and good. If no, despair not as we will be doing a Muat reading lesson today. Okay? Great. Our lesson today will focus on references. What references? You have heard of anaphoric and cataphoric references, yes? No? Maybe yes, but don't know? It's alright. No worries. We shall be going through it in a bit. The purpose of this lesson is for you to understand three main things. You will learn to identify anaphoric references, identify cataphoric references, and most importantly, to answer questions related to anaphoric and cataphoric references. We will look at a few examples later, after which you will be able to comprehend better. Let's first look at an anaphoric reference. An anaphoric reference is a word 
or phrase in a text, which is a means of acquiring other ideas which were earlier stated in the same paragraph or passage. Let's take a look at an example of an anaphoric reference. Let's read it together. Malaysian schools were closed due to COVID-19 in March 2020. However, they will be reopened for students taking SVM, STPM, SPM and STAM and equivalent international examinations on 24th of June 2020, Wednesday. Now, let's attempt the question. What does the word they refer to? Pay attention to the words in blue. The word they refers to something that had been earlier stated in the same sentence. What is it? Are you sure? That is correct. They refer to Malaysian schools. Now, let us proceed with cataphoric references. A cataphoric reference refers to ideas expressed later in the paragraph, text or passage. Take a look at an example of a cataphoric reference. Let's read the sentence together. The World Health Organization, WHO, has declared COVID-19 a global pandemic. Next, let's answer the related question. What is COVID-19 declared as? Take a guess. Pay attention to the words in bold and the words in italics. Do you see the connection? You got it! Correct! COVID-19 refers to a global pandemic. Good! Looks like you understand both references already. But how would you remember them? Take a look at this useful tip. Actually, it's as simple as A, B, C. The letter A comes earlier than the letter C. So, anaphoric refers to ideas stated earlier in the text. The later letter C suggests that cataphoric refers to ideas stated later in the passage. Now, we will look at an example with both references in a sentence. Let's chill with a joke. A computer once beat me at chess, but it was no match for me at kickboxing. Question, what does the word it in the joke refer to? Let me give you a clue. You do remember what an anaphoric reference is, yes? That's it, a word, idea or phrase which had been earlier stated in the same sentence, text, paragraph, passage or in this case, a joke. Yes, you are right. The answer is a computer. Now let's look at the joke again. A computer once beat me at chess, but it was no match for me at kickboxing. Which game does the term no match refer to? Let me give you another clue. It is a cataphoric reference. The answer is kickboxing. In the course of reading, we constantly come across anaphoric and cataphoric references. Let's read the text together. The flight from marriage in Asia is thus the result of the greater freedom that women enjoy these days, which is to be celebrated but it is also creating social problems. Compared with the West, Asian countries have invested less in pensions and other forms of social protection on the assumption that the family will look after aging or ill relatives. 
that can no longer be taken for granted. The decline of marriage is also contributing to the collapse in the birth rate. Look at that! You read well! Now let's really look at the word that, which is in bold and underlined in red. What does it refer to? Let me give you a clue. It is an anaphoric reference. What's an anaphoric reference again? Something which had been earlier stated. Do you see the connection between the words in red? On the assumption that the family will look after aging or ill relatives and the words in blue that can no longer be taken for granted. You see? Lovely! Let's look at question one. Which would your answer be? Option A, B or C? That can no longer be taken for granted. That in line six refers to A, greater freedom for single women, B, taking care of aging family members, C, receiving a pension and social protection. Study the paragraph again. You are given 30 seconds. Can you now answer the question? Give it a go. Excellent! The answer is B. The word that refers to taking care of aging family members. Let's move on to the next text. Kindly read the text along with me. Reducing the carbon intensity of energy, that is, the amount of carbon emitted per unit of energy consumed is a key objective in reaching long-term climate goals. As long as the primary energy mix is biased towards fossil fuels, this would be difficult to achieve with currently available fossil fuel-based technologies. Given that the world economy is expected to double in size over the next 20 years, the world's consumption of energy will also increase significantly. If energy supply conversion and use continue to be insufficient. Take note of the sentence. Reducing the carbon intensity of energy in red and connect it to the word this which is in blue. Do you see the connection? This is an anaphoric reference. Take a look at question two. This in line four refers to A, primary energy mix, B, fossil fuel-based technology, C, reducing the carbon intensity of energy, D, amount of carbon emitted per unit of energy consumed. Which would be your answer? Study the paragraph again. You are granted 30 seconds. Can you now answer the question? Give it a try. Great! 
Despite this being a difficult text, you managed to answer correctly. The word this in line 4 refers to reducing the carbon intensity of energy. The answer is C. Let's recap what we have learned today. 1. Identify anaphoric references. 2. Identify cataphoric references. And most importantly, 3. Answer questions related to anaphoric and cataphoric references. Hope you enjoyed the lesson on Musang King. In this lesson, you have learned to make inferences, identify meanings of words through contextual clues, interpret the ideas expressed, and determine the organizational pattern of the text. Keep calm and continue reading. Hope you have gained beneficial knowledge from today's MUET reading lesson. Sit back, relax, and enjoy your books. Thank you. Keep reading. Have a good day. Bye.